Jack watches the security footage over and over again, disturbed by how he and his girlfriend barely escaped harm. He went extremely slow, almost like sloth slow. It looked like he tried to creep into my office, just to the right of where he was standing. He lingered at the top of the stairs for 15 to 30 minutes. It seemed like he almost watched the TV, the show that we were watching, until it ended. He got quiet. We woke up, and then he saw us waking up and creeped out. He was exiting the bedroom as we were entering the bedroom. Jack realizes the intruder must have come in the same way he left, through an unlocked upstairs balcony. He enters from the back bedroom and then leaves back to the bedroom. My fault leaving a third story bedroom door unlocked. The frightened couple immediately files a police report. When I showed the video to police, they actually asked me if I could get it out of slow motion and fast forward it a bit, and it wasn't in slow motion. When the police watched the footage, they were freaked out themselves. Frightening video of a creepy criminal. The creepy video is soon all over the news and becomes the main topic of discussion on Jack's Neighborhood Watch Group on Facebook. I first saw the video posted by the victim in our group. He was reaching out as a call for help. Does anybody recognize this person? And when he posted that, it spread very quickly and a lot of comments, a lot of concern. It also catches the attention of a reporter who happens to live in the very same neighborhood. This was brought up on a neighborhood watch page that I was part of. It did happen just a few blocks from my home. What if that were me? You see this in the movies, but not in a home that is around the corner. One victim shared with us what he posted, an intruder watching him sleep. I still have chills. Who would not be at least mildly disturbed by watching this? When the media got involved, from that point, it actually blew up pretty, pretty big. They called him the Bucktown Creeper. Nobody knows who the man is, but suspicion grows that the Bucktown Creeper has been canvassing their neighborhood for some time. Our neighborhood watch group was blowing up. People were posting images of a man on a bike taken from people's security cameras on the outside of their garages and the alleys. The same guy on the bike, I had actually been going door to door throughout the neighborhood, just seeing doors were unlocked. 